The most significant inquiry we can ever consider asking is, are we the only ones in the universe? This question, popularized by the legendary Carl Sagan, continues to echo across generations, inspiring both dreamers and scientists. Sagan was not solely motivated by curiosity. He believed that the answer to this question would fundamentally change our understanding of existence, life, and our place in the universe. Sagan envisioned a vibrant cosmos. He frequently stated that if Earth were the only place where life exists, it would be a terrible waste of space. That idea set off a fire in scientific communities. Since then, generations of researchers have dedicated their efforts to the search of the skies. Today, as a result of cutting-edge technology and unwavering effort, those dreams are inching closer to reality. At the epicenter of this contemporary search is JWST the James Webb Space Telescope, a masterpiece of engineering and science. JWST is unparalleled in its power, focusing more clearly and further into the universe than any previous telescope. But it does more than just capture stunning images of distant galaxies and stars. Acting like a time machine, it allows us to see how the universe looked billions of years ago, possibly even earlier. Most importantly, it functions as a space-based instrument capable of examining the atmospheres of faraway planets. This ability is a breakthrough in the search for alien life forms. By analyzing the fingerprints of substances in the atmospheres of exoplanets, scientists can now look for elements that make up life even several hundred light years away. One particular exoplanet has taken the spotlight, k 18 b Located in the LEO constellation, 120 light years from Earth, it orbits a small, cool red dwarf star, K218. What makes it fascinating is that it lies within the habitable's only optimal region where liquid water could exist. k 18 b however, is not like rocky planets such as Earth. It is classified as a sub-Neptune, smaller than Neptune but larger than Earth. Even more intriguing is that it has been proposed as a Hycian world, a new class of potentially habitable planets described by Dr. Niku Madhusudan of the University of Cambridge. These planets are believed to have hydrogen-rich atmospheres and vast global oceans beneath layers of thick clouds, conditions that could allow microbial life to thrive. Using a method known as transit spectroscopy, scientists measured how starlight filtered through k 18 b's atmosphere during a transit. This technique reveals which gases are present based on the wavelengths absorbed. The JWST data surprised everyone. Evidence suggested the presence of carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, and possibly even dimethyl sulfide DMS. Why is DMS so important? On Earth, it is produced almost entirely by marine microorganisms. If confirmed, its presence would be the strongest biomarker ever discovered on an exoplanet. Dr. Maud Husudin called it a historic milestone. Still, he emphasized caution, this is not yet proof of life only a beginning. Others in the field share cautious optimism. Dr. Sarah Seeger and MIT researcher noted, greater than, we're now identifying planets that could realistically support living organisms. This moment changes our understanding of habitability. For decades, scientists assumed that only rocky planets with breathable atmospheres could harbor life. Now, we see that life could potentially flourish in environments alien to anything on Earth. And it's not just distant exoplanets. Even within our own solar system, unexpected revelations have reshaped our views. Europa and Enceladus moons of Jupiter and Saturn contain subsurface oceans. Cassini's detection of organic molecules erupting from Enceladus demonstrated that life does not require sunshine or even land. JWST's broader mission extends beyond the search for life. It seeks to uncover how planets and stars evolve, how galaxies form, and how the chemical makeup of the early universe was structured. As a result, many now call this the era of discovery. Exoplanet science, another exciting system under investigation, is TRAPPIST-1, which has several planets the size of Earth. At 40 light-years away, some of its worlds lie within the zone of habitability. 
JWST has already begun examining their environments. Trappist 1e, a planet, is especially promising. It is a size similar to Earth's and could have liquid water. JWST is beginning its sky search for oxygen, methane, and other biomarkers that could reveal signs of life. Then there's LHS-11 for OB, a rocky exoplanet 49 light years from Earth. It's believed to have a thick atmosphere and orbits within the habitable zone of its red dwarf star. This is yet another thrilling target for future research. Numerous subsequent missions are being planned by scientists to verify these early findings. Teams are especially eager to confirm the presence of DMS on K-18b and to look for ozone, ammonia, and nitrogen-containing compounds. When found together, these chemicals could build a compelling case for biological activity. Meanwhile, the upcoming European Space Agency mission will examine hundreds of exoplanet atmospheres in detail. NASA is also preparing the Habitable Worlds Observatory, anticipated within the next 10 years, with a mission to observe Earth-like planets around nearby stars and look for evidence of liquid water, clouds, and maybe even life. The scale of the universe is beyond comprehension. Each of its more than 100 billion galaxies contains billions of stars. The odds of Earth being alone seem increasingly unlikely. Even if only a small percentage of stars host habitable planets, we could be confronting millions of alien worlds each with its own chemistry, climate, and possibility for life. Dr. Jill Tarter, a pioneer in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, reminds us that absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. She believes we're finally creating the appropriate instruments to locate real signs of life. Each new piece of data reshapes our understanding of how common life might be. Even locating microorganisms on another planet would confirm that Earth is not alone. The Repercussions would spread throughout society ethics, religion, philosophy, and politics would all face new questions. We wouldn't be the only known life anymore. We would be part of a much larger cosmic ecosystem. The discoveries of today are inspiring the next generation. With JWST, young students are developing visions of space travel. Tomorrow's astronauts, scientists, and planetary explorers may already be in classrooms right now. JWST's curiosity may be the driving force behind the first human mission to an alien world or the moment when a signal from a far-off civilization finally arrives. According to some researchers, future missions may find more than just life. They could discover technosignatures evidence of intelligent societies. These may consist of radio signals, chemical pollutants, or even artificial lights on the night side of an exoplanet. Any one of these discoveries would mean we are not only not alone, but that someone else is also watching the stars. This search is no longer the realm of science fiction, it's real scientific progress, accelerating with each new finding. The tools, the missions, and the minds are all in motion. As Dr. Thomas Zerbikin, former director of science at NASA, put it, this is the closest we've ever gotten to locating life elsewhere and we're just starting out. His words resonate across missions, observatories, and control rooms worldwide. Each image, each dataset, and each new exoplanet brings us one step closer to an answer to the question Carl Sagan posed decades ago. New investigations raise new questions about our universe, our origins, and our future. Perhaps life exists on K218b. Perhaps it's just microbial organisms beneath a hydrogen-rich sky. Or maybe it's something more complex intelligent, hidden, waiting. Regardless of the truth, the journey has only begun. The universe is beautiful, vast, and full of possibilities. We must continue our search, keep questioning, and keep hoping because one day we just might get an answer. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.